Hi, I'm Sean Rice from the International Tour of the Adams Family, and thank you for tuning in to my playthrough of Zombie Dice and Cthulhu Dice. We're going to start off with a playthrough of Zombie Dice, but before we get going, let me tell you a little bit about the rules. In Zombie Dice, the goal is to roll 13 brains. You take on the role of a zombie who is very hungry, and every die that you roll is a villager that you're attacking. On each dice, you're going to find three things. You're going to find brains, you're going to find shotgun blasts, and you're going to find footprints. Uh, brains, of course, are the people who, we've, who you've eaten. Um, the shotgun blasts are the people who have attacked you. And the feet are the people who have run away, so both of you are kind of unscathed. Um, each round, you can roll as many times as you want, each time rolling three dice. But if you ever roll three cumulative shotgun shells, then you lose all the brains that you've rolled for that round. Um, so it's kind of a, a, a press your luck sort of thing. Uh, and the game continues round and round the circle until uh, one person reaches 13, then you finish out the round, and whoever has the most brains at the end of that round is the winner. Now you're also going to notice that there are three different colors of dice. Green dice have more brains, red dice have more shotgun shells, and yellow, yellow dice have something in the middle. But the color of dice you get is random each time. Now let's get to meet our players. Hi, I'm Brian Mulnicki. <laughs> I uh, play Lucas in the show, and I love zombies. Hi, I'm Maggie Pitts, and I play the saloon girl. Oh, I'm Nolan. You met me in the other video. I'm Mark Poppleton, and I play Mel Beinecke. Oh, okay, okay. Two green, one yellow. And you just picked whatever you wanted? Oh, shoot, I got two shotguns two already. Shotguns. Yeah, guys, kind of narrate what's going on as it okay, happens. Okay, so I got one brain, and I got two shotguns, and I'm going to stop there, so I have one brain. All right. Cool. Take a three, right? Yep. Oh. <laughs> one brain and one shotgun and a foot. So, so you can keep your brain, keep your shotgun, and then if you decide to roll again, you can roll that foot and then two more. All right, I'll roll again. Go for it. All right. You, have, you got used up one of your red ones, too, so you're in a good spot. So you roll two more? You always roll three. Two plus oh, you always Oh, cool. I got a brain and two feet. Ooh. So can I stop there? You can stop there if you want, or you can roll again. I'm going to stop. Two brains. Safe play. <laughs> Roll again. Oh, and two the, brains. Oh, here you go. Sorry. I got two brains. Okay, so. Reach in here. Right. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Wow. Two brains and one foot, so I'll roll this one again. That was lucky. That was pro. But <laughs> I know that two green dice are I know. I know not. I'm it to myself. Oh, you got and a brain. Wow. And one oh. shotgun. And another green. Um, I think I'm going to stay. Three brains. All right. Nice. All right, my turn. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, we'll do it from my, my view. Oh, look at that. All right. Ooh, look at that. Two greens and a yellow. Let's see. Oh, wow. two shotguns and a foot. Well, I have no reason to not try again, so... <laughs> the worst. Ooh. So dead. I'm so dead. Oh. So many shotguns and one brain. Wow. None for me. Yikes. Okay, here we go. Rolling three. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be three brains. Oh, one bad, brain bad, and two bad. feet. Perfect. So I'm gonna roll again. Mm -hmm. Oh, two shotguns. So here, do you want to keep your brain or try again? I'll keep my one brain. I like your roll. You roll, right? Yeah. What do you have? Just keep the one brain. Mark, you roll, right? Yeah. Brian is way in the lead right now. Big money. I get brain losses. This is a pre shitty draw. Uh oh. Ooh, look okay, at that! Yeah, two brains, two brains like and a shotgun. Nice. nice. You have some green dice in there. Right, yeah, that's it. All right, okay. Okay, good. <gasps> I'm gonna stop there. Okay, I got three though, that's good. Wow. That's good. I'm gonna make four for you? Four for me. Yeah. Let's mix it up, just in case. Yeah. yeah. A brain and two feet, so that's... 
So you have to pick one more, right? Yep. Nice. Whoa. Wow. Wow. You're going to go wow. again? I'm going to go again. Oh, yeah. No shotguns, right? Yeah, she's got nothing. No whammies, no whammies. Another brain. Another brain. <laughs> Dan. She's on a tear. <laughs> and a shotgun, though. And a shotgun. It's your first shotgun. Yes. Hey. 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 I think I'm done. Oh. These are them? What, 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 what are we going to work? 13. 13. 13. Where am I going from? Oh, you don't have to look at them now. Right. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Did you guys walk around at all? No. Yeah. No. Not much. So. I walked around. That was not exciting. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of just like... Okay. Okay. I'll go again. And one mm -hmm. shotgun. Oh, what? Mother Abby's family. Oh! Oh! I have to go again after that. Oh, that was fantastic. Yeah. Wow, four brains in one? Okay, stopping that. I'm stopping Alright. Oh, two reds. Oh, two brains and a shotgun. It's not like two strong, like it's bothering me, but it's like the goat version. I'm gonna keep my two though. Two brains for me. Two brains. Have you guys all seen Frozen now? No. Yes. I only saw one song. Do you know Let It Go? Yeah. I'll play for you guys later. There's a five year old singing Let It Go. Maybe even three years old. Oh shit. Oh, two shotguns and a brain. Ooh. I'm taking the brain. There you go. That's it? There you go. Well, yeah, what else am I going to do? <laughs> Julia and I were giggling so much. Actually, I'm so far behind, I should have gone. That video. Anytime, no. <laughs> oh, that's not so good. Oh, wow, you got two feet. Running. I got two feet. Running. I got two feet. <sighs> okay, okay. Two more brains and feet. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Pretty good. Yeah. Alright. Two green, one red. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. And more oh, feet. Are you going to keep going? It's because I have like five minutes to shake the dice. Yeah. Wow. Three shotguns. This is going on right now. <laughs> so many brains. He's got the shotguns. Oh. Wow. Wow. That How many is that, Nolan? That's seven. So, oh. Wait, wait. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, I'm going to stop. Why? Did you get a shotgun? I got a shotgun. Because he'd lose them all if he didn't. Wow. I didn't see wow. the other shotgun. <laughs> Good for you. Put you <laughs> Not compared to my three. <laughs> yeah, because the Nolan technique. You really roll it. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, two brains and a shotgun. Okay. So can I roll again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Keep your shotgun out, and you take three new feet. Oh, three, three new dice, sorry. <laughs> three new feet. Two shotguns. Uh, I'm gonna stop, I guess. Oh, oh, cool. yeah. two? Go behind three. curtain number three. three. Alright, one more, one more time. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. You better not screw me on this one. Well, I'm hoping to. <laughs> Brian's the lead, so he's I'm a not bad lead. influence. You are no <gasps> Whoa! Yeah, stop there. Alright, I'm stuck here. Yeah. So you have four brains. Four brains. For ten, very nice. Alright. Nice. No, and you have eleven? Oh, I've got eleven. Tell me of eight. But you are in a position to win. Oh, we'll see. That's not you five brains. Yeah, you five brains. You're not going to get five brains. You're going to get shotguns right off the bat. Here we go. Shotguns. Yes. Um, one shotgun. One shotgun. And one brain. I know it's not bad. It's. it's I really want the best for you. Three shotguns. Oh, a shotgun. Oh, two shotguns. Oof. That and puts me at ten as well. I'm going again. Ooh. Ooh. Risky. I'm going again. I'm going again. Here he goes. Damn. See ya. Although, 
Oh, no, no. You drew them. You, drew him. you have to now. Here you go. This Rule is not safe. Shotguns. No oh. shotgun. Oh. No really? shotgun. You stop there. Stopping that. there. Nice. 11, huh? Oh. All right. Can you throw those in there for me? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Really? And I've got three. All right, let's see. I mean, no one got seven on their run. You, you could totally do it. Oh, I always draw two reds. <laughs> All right. Brain, foot, shotgun. I might as well go again. Got nothing to lose. Brain. Shotgun, shotgun. All right. Oh. Lost. Oh, That's all right. Oh, not my, this is not my day. It really is not my day. I've, I've got two going into this. Two going into this. Here we go. Come on, shotguns. <sighs> brain and shotgun. I guess I'll go again. Go for brains, not go shotguns. No, but I was using psychology. Child psychology. Oh. What? Well, I'm so far behind, I don't care. I guess I'll you know go what? again. Go for the first one. Do it. Technically, you should keep the two dice you already have and bring add another one to it because oh, the really? color makes a difference. Oh. You get two, you get two but you're so far behind, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. I've got shotguns. Oh, look at that! Almost all shotguns! Yes! So many shotguns. <laughs> yeah, wow. Thank so we you. go around for the whole round or just until someone gets 13? 13. And when we finish the round and then if someone gets over the... Then we look at the... Yeah. Whoever gets the highest once someone hits 13. That's 14. <gasps> Oh, wow. 14. Well, so this is the last oh, round. So is it whoever wins at the end of this round? Yes. yes whoever has sure. the most at the end of this round. Okay, well, I guess I should keep going. You are the winner currently, oh, but... Oh, I, get three shotguns. I get to go last, so you Whoa. better get ready. <laughs> it's impossible for you to... 15. That's 15. Let me stop. Woo! Fifteen's the number to beat. All right. What does Maggie have? Ten. Ten. You've got to get six. Six brains. Come on. Six, six or you brains. lose. Six or you lose. Look how good and juicy they are. Oh. 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 Done. Oh. So it's really just Brian because it doesn't matter. Oh, we, are you kidding me? You'd I'm never gonna get come enough. I'd never get enough. Thirteen. So. Press on. What is it? Fifteen. And what do you have? I have 11. I have to so basically just do you one. You have to get game. five. You can do it, though. I don't no, know. he's going to lose. I think. <laughs> no, shotguns. I feel shotguns in the air. this game. Two brains. Oh. oh. Three to go. Three to go. Again, you should have kept that die. Kept it's that a yellow, die. so I'll just take it. You really messed it up. Come, Come on. Now really. you're cheating. <laughs> just to win. DQ. Oh, yes. I, I love Derek. Ooh, all right, all right. Ooh. <laughs> Only two more you need, though. Two more shotguns, two more guns. What is it going to be? It's going to be shotguns. It's going to be shotguns, I can feel it. Triggers, click back. Oh, oh brain. one more brain to go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he gets the brain. Right, no, I looked. I looked. Get the brain and do something else. That would be really funny. What would happen? You guys are tied now, right? Yes. Yeah, we're tied. Yes. I have to keep going. Brain. And the, shot. And the winner of Zombie Dice. Very nice. You haven't gone right. In Cthulhu Dice, you take on the role of cultists who are trying to drive each other insane. Now, you can play with um, two players on up. Uh, I think it's best with four players. Um, but what you do is you take... Um, you're supposed to take three of these little red sanity tokens per person. Um, but if it's a smaller group of people, um, I tend to kind of split it up more evenly, uh, taking more because it makes the game last a little bit longer. And what you do in the game is you take the Cthulhu dice and you decide who you're going to attack, who you're going to cast against. Once you've decided who that is, if it's a two-player game, it's very easy to decide, um, then you roll the dice. There's a couple of different options that are, that are going to happen. Um, you could get the king in yellow, which um, means that the person you're attacking is going to put one of their sanity tokens in the center of the table, which represents Cthulhu. Um, you could get a tentacle, which means the person you're attacking is going to give you one of his sanities. You could get uh, the Cthulhu marker himself. That means that everyone's going to put one of their sanity dice in the center of the table. 
you could get the Elder Sign Star, which means that you get to take a, uh, a Sandy token back from the center, or you could roll the All-Seeing Eye, and when you get that, then you get to choose which of the other options you'd like to happen. So you roll the dice, whatever happens, happens, then the person who you have attacked gets a chance to counterattack. They roll the dice, and whatever happens, happens. Now the only difference is, if they roll a tentacle, they don't get to collect the Sandy item. No, because you're still the caster, technically. This is their counterattack. So if they roll a tentacle, then they still have to give you a sanity die. Aha! Um, play continues until either all the cultists are insane, or there's only one person left with sandy tokens. Now, as you're playing, if uh, you do go insane, and it's not a two-player game, then you still continue to roll, but you're basically playing for Cthulhu. You can't take um, sandy tokens back. Every time you would take a sandy token from someone, from a tentacle, you would just put it into the center. If you do roll an Elder Sign, though, you can take sandy tokens back and become a little more sane and be back in the running of the game. Uh, it's really fun, and it, um, it, uh, well, you'll see. Okay, and this one is Cthulhu Dice. This time it's just going to be Mark and myself playing. Um, normally the game says to take three of uh, these guys, um, but I say when you're just doing two players, the game plays the best with four. When you're just doing two players, I say just divide them evenly amongst you, and uh, that way it can last a little longer. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and start. So I'm going to move this around so we can see Mr. Mark. There we go, and he's going to start, and obviously he's going to be attacking me, because there's only two of us. Um, so we'll narrate as we go. So Mark has just rolled. Uh, oh, you can almost see it in this line. Oh, we have to take my word for it. It is um, <laughs> Cthulhu. So we're all, both going to put one into the center. There we go. And now I'm going to make my counterattack. And I have rolled... Ah, the king and yellow sign. So that means that Mark has to put one in the center as well. Haha. -ha. Alright, so now I'm going to make my actual attack. That was a crappy roll. I actually <laughs> rolled it. I just kind of dropped it. That wasn't fair. Okay, there we go. It was oh, the same, same thing. thing. So, king and yellow, so he has to put one in the center again. Now he's going to refute that attack. Ah. Whoop! <laughs> and it fell on the floor! I got it. Dice tragedy here at Cthulhu. Here it is. Rolling again. And he rolled the tentacle. So, this is um, an interesting uh, interesting thing. So, because it was my original attack, um, I am what's known as the caster. So, even though he rolled the tentacle, um, and it seems like he, I should give one to him because I'm the original caster, he's got to give one to me. Ha ha ha. That gives me lots, and him not so many. <laughs> All right, so now he's the actual attacker this time, or caster, as it were. And he rolled the king and yellow sign. There are more of those on the dice than anything else, so I'm putting one in the center. Now here's my counterattack. And it's the king and yellow, so he puts one in the center. Now it's my actual attack. Cthulhu! Everyone puts one in the center. He's attacking us. All right, Mark's counterattack. And he rolled the tentacle again, so that means he gives one to me. Ha ha! He's down to two. No. I have several. Um, so, <laughs> so now it's your actual oh, it's my attack. Turn. My attack. Tentacle, now I give one to him. Hey. Because he's the caster. Tentacle, I give one to him again. Now, big comeback. a big comeback. Here's my attack on him. Pentagall! Haha, he gives one to me. Oh, and my. Aha, I put one in the center. Right. Now you attack. Oh. Yeah, you always end up going twice in a row. We may have screwed this up in the past, but that's okay. Uh, tentacle, so his. I'm giving one to him. My counterattack. He puts one in the center. Now my actual oh. attack. It's a lot of back and forth. It's a lot of fun when you have like four people because then you can actually choose who you're attacking. Um, King and yellow. Together. Mm -hmm. His counter attack. I put one in the center. Wow. <laughs> uh, was that your counter attack or your actual attack? I've lost count. I think that was your counter attack. I think that was my counter attack. So now you're doing your actual yeah, attack. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, I think that's right too. 
Ah, so he's rolled the all-seeing eye. So he gets to choose an outcome. So he can either, um, because he's the caster, he can either make me give him one, make me put one in the center, or he can take one from the center. Hmm. He has two. I've got four. I'm going to take one of yours. Aha. So he basically chose the tentacle outcome. So now it's my counterattack. Oh, and I also no. got the tentacle. That means I give one to him. No. Oh. Hey, oh, yeah. Yes. So now I've got two, and he's got four. <laughs> Quick change of events. Oh. All right, my attack. King in yellow. He puts one in the center. His oh, attack. Yes. Counterattack. Counter I put one in the center. I'm down to oh. one. Here I go His actual one. attack. Oh, I just lost. Oh. Mark is the winner Ooh. with three pieces of Sandy three. left. Cthulhu is, of course, the most sane, but Mark, the big winner of Cthulhu Crazy. Dice. So there you go. That is Cthulhu Dice and Zombie Dice, both from Steve Jackson Games. Uh, they're a lot of fun. They're very quick plays, as you see and uh, they're really easy to travel around. So I suggest that you go and pick up your own copy and uh, start playing some sanity-inducing zombie madness of your own. If you like what you saw here today, please like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. And as always, keep gaming!